dad's finger bitten off in nativity fight. British police have arrested a man after a parent's finger was bitten off during a fight before a school's nativity play. Northumbria police say 39-year-old man was deterred detained after the brawl broke out when parents at Harton Primary School in the northeastern English town of South Shields outside the city of Newcastle gathered for a traditional festive performance by their children. A 32-year-old father was taken to the hospital for medical treatment after his finger was bitten off. Police did not disclose if medics were able to save the digit. Police said the 39-year-old man was arrested on suspicion of assault. Really? Oh my gosh. Teachers say (coughs) children didn't witness the attack because they were preparing to begin their performance. There's the (laughs) Christmas spirit. Right there. I love Christmas. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, it just brings out the best in everybody. Mm, Speaking of the best in people, Mm -hmm. Seattle welfare recipient lives in million-dollar home. What? A Seattle woman who is receiving welfare assistance from Washington State also happens to live in a waterfront house on Lake Washington worth more than a million dollars. Federal agents raided the home this weekend, which this is from December 5th, but have not released the woman or her husband's name because they have not officially been charged with a crime. However, federal documents obtained by KING5 News show the couple currently receives more than $1,200 a month in public housing vouchers, plus state and government disability checks and food stamps. They have been receiving the benefits since 2003. The 2,500-square-foot home, which includes gardens and a boat dock, is valued at $1.2 million dollars. And even though the couple has been receiving the benefits for nearly 10 years, records show that they accurately listed the address of their current home when applying for the state and federal benefits. A federal official told KING5 that the couple likely took advantage of a loophole, which allows low-income individuals to receive financial assistance to help them pay their rent and move away from housing projects. However, the law does not require officials to verify what type of home the benefits Wait, the benefits recipient is living in. Mm. As if the million-dollar home weren't enough, the supposedly low-income couple also gave money to various charities and traveled around the world to locales in Turkey, Tel Aviv, and resort towns in Mexico. Wow. That's just That evil. pisses me off. Slightly. There are people that actually need help, and it's people like this that screw people that need the help over. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. They should be, as Jeremy Clarkson got in trouble for earlier this week, taken out into the street and shot. Oh, dear. Mm-hmm. Wait, what is, okay, off to the side, what did he get in trouble for? Um, you know how they've been protesting in England this week? Cause like, no. Oh, anyway. There were big protests in England this week. Yeah. <gasps> um, yeah. So Jeremy Clarkson got quite cranky with them because he's like, well, you've all got, you know, benefits and you've all got, you know, a retirement plan and blah de blah de blah How dare you all go on strike? You should all be taken out into the street in front of your family and shot. Oh, lovely. Uh, people are calling for him to be sacked. That's kind of sad because that means Top Gear would go. But I mean, every, you know, Jeremy Clarkson isn't exactly the nicest man in the world, but continue on. No, you know, he quite often says things that, you know, most people probably think that way anyway. So, you know. It's different when it's different when you think it. I mean, unfortunately, this is r- rather unfortunate. People may agree with it, but it's completely different when you think it and you're talking to, you know, a group of your friends who may or may not agree with you and then saying it publicly like that, especially considering he isn't exactly, this isn't exactly, excuse me, this isn't exactly the first time he's gotten in trouble. No, not the first time. And unless he gets fired, certainly won't be the last. And even then, I mean... God, 
he has done so many things, I'm pretty sure he'll find some other way to get in trouble, so. Yeah, he kind of has that knack, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Okay, excuse me for a second. This is going to be annoying. No, it's not. There we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> was there another story was... you wanted to get in really quickly? Uh, let's see. Do the Florida teen one. The fl- oh. <laughs> oh, yes. This one. This one takes the cake for the week. Mm-hmm. Okay, Florida teen detained by the TSA for design on her purse. That's right, you heard me. This is from the 2nd of December. It's not unusual for a 17-year-old to find themselves in hot water with fashion police, but on a flight from Virginia to Florida, Vanessa Gibbs found herself detained by the Transport Security Administration, or the TSA, over the appearance of her purse. And just to be clear, it wasn't the content inside the purse that the TSA objected to. No, agency officials took exception with the design of a gun on Gibbs' handbag. It's my style. It's camouflage. It has an old western gun on it, Gibbs told News4Jax.com. Gibbs didn't run into any trouble while travelling from Jacksonville International Airport, but on her way back home, the TSA officials at Norfolk International Airport pulled her aside. She was like, This is a federal offence because it's in the shape of a gun? Gibbs said, I'm like, but it's a design on a purse. How is it a federal offence? After TSA agents figured out the gun was fake, (laughs) yep, duh, Gibbs said they told her to check the bag or turn it over. By the time security wrapped up the inspection, the pregnant teen missed her flight and the Southwest Airlines sent her to Orlando instead, which is where everybody wants to go. Uh, The (laughs) change itinerary created no small amount of anxiety for Gibbs' mother, who was already waiting for her to arrive at the Jacksonville airport. Oh, it's terrifying. I was so upset, said Tammy Gibbs, the teen's mum. I was on the phone all the way to Orlando trying to figure out what I was going to do with her. It was terrifying. Um, Maybe you would have just taken her home? I don't know. That's just me. Um, Less terrifying is the actual design of the purse, which is only a few inches inside and hollow. I carried this from Jacksonville to Norfolk, and I've carried it from Norfolk to Jacksonville, Vanessa said. Never once has anyone said anything about it until now. Nonetheless, the TSA says the design could be considered a replica weapon, something that the agency has banned since 2002. Just imagine what would happen if Gibbs had also been wearing stiletto heels. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. TSA, seriously, stop it. It's getting ridiculous. TSA, seriously, if something else happens on the airline and this type of news is hitting the airways, you guys, your ass is going to be grass. No joke. Oh, and by the way, it's Norfolk. North, North, I can't ever say it correctly, but you'd said it wrong. No, it's Norfolk, because that's how we say it here. We've actually got Well, that's Norfolk not how we say island. it here. Well, tough. You guys say mom, too, but I didn't say that. It's because your accent. Okay, do we have time for one more? Yeah, go for it. I don't know. Alrighty, let's see. Which one do I want? Let's get rid of that one. Um, 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 um. Go the Nobel Prize winning one. Okay. Driver's number one problem, a wee bit serious. Matthew Lewis's study wins LG. I don't know. Something Nobel Prize. It may appear to be a wee problem, but when you really need to go, it can be dangerous. Melbourne researchers won an LG. I'm guessing it's LG. I really don't know. Nobel Prize for medicine. For discovering that the need to go to the bathroom is as distracting as having a .05 blood alcohol level or major sleep deprivation, which can cause you to hit deer, by the way. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Caulfield's Hospital AIDS Psychiatry Research Coordinator, Dr. Matthew Lewis, said it had a negative effect on attention and memory. 